Hi, my name is Dana Hoag. I'm a professor in the Department of Agricultural and Resource Economics here at CSU. I teach a lot of things, but primarily I teach agricultural policy for the agribusiness program. Students that get a degree in agribusiness can expect uh, a wide variety of jobs. Most people think of agriculture as farming, but it's really a lot bigger than that nowadays. If you want a job in marketing or finance or production, that's going to require an education that teaches you business, economics, technology, things like that. Our curriculum is designed to give you the skills that are going to appeal to the employers. When an employer looks at a CSU student, we want them to know that that student is well-educated in economic principles that are going to help them make money, in business skills that are going to help them make money, and that they have an agricultural understanding so that they understand the business that they're working in. One of the things we like to do is teach a lot of quantitative methods and, and ways to do analysis in our program. And we do that because it's a necessary skill to survive in today's business. If you're not doing it, somebody else is, and they're going to be able to provide their product cheaper or better than you are, and you're going to go out of business. So typically in ag economics, we think of ourselves as divided into a few main groups. The first one is production. We help people figure out how to use the most efficient amount of inputs to get the most efficient amount of outputs. That's production. The second part is marketing, which is sort of self-explanatory. And sort of the third big area is finance. And, and that would include how does a farm buy a $150,000 piece of equipment to harvest their crops. The other area we do a lot with is policy, which is what I specialize in. And policy transcends all three of those areas. Producers have to worry about um, their neighbors complaining about smells from their animals, or roosters crowing in the morning, uh, laws about water and irrigation. So we have to worry about policies all along the line, and that would be the fourth area. Agribusiness is housed in the Ag Economics Department, and Ag Economics is really the marrying of agriculture with economics. It's a science that looks at how to uh, to allocate scarce resources. And agricultural economics is economics applied to agriculture. And so, for example, economics would have a theory that would help us with understanding pricing. Um, the best one I can think of is elasticity. That's the concept of knowing what price to charge. It tells me how that price is going to affect the amount sold. So what ag economics would help you with is understanding the production, but also how do you start a business? And then the economics, how do you price that, that product? Elasticity and supply chain analysis and input output are just some of the kinds of tools that we teach that enable students to graduate with the skills that we think they're going to need to be able to handle jobs in the industry. One thing unique about our program is that you're getting taught by somebody that really knows what they're talking about. That person is known in their field for what they do. They'll give you examples, they'll work hard, they'll make it an enjoyable experience. And our students tell us time and time again in our evaluations that they enjoyed the classes, they found them valuable, but they also found them fun. So a student that's an online student can expect a pretty nice diversity of courses that are very applied and they'll be able to find what's interesting to them. 